And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Snapvine. We're going to be playing a deck that's going to be similar to a They Who Endure style deck. Um, but we're going to have some little uh, twists in here. We're going to be playing Maokai that's going to be able to get us some more allies. Because of course whenever we play something we get this nice little sapling that can do some challenging and dying. And uh, if we do have enough things die, because as you know, with a They Who Endure deck, you're going to have a lot of units die, you know, or toss. Get that to 25. We can have a nice Maokai obliterate their deck. But if not, we're still going to have a lot of things die. And therefore, while things are dying, we're going to uh, get to have a They Who Endure, which is going to be very, very large. And we'll have that with Atrocity because we know how good that combo is. Another, but our backup plan, if that doesn't work, is going to be Overgrown Snapvine. So Overgrown Snapvine, if we have this in play, whenever we summon a follower, you kill it, and you make another Overgrown Snapvine. Now, that, that means that your They Who Endures won't be very good anymore, because, you know, obviously, uh, your, over, your They Who Endure will just turn into an Overgrown Snapvine. But while you do have Overgrown Snapvine in play, you're going to be killing a ton of allies, because, you know, you have that in play, then you play whatever ally, you kill it immediately. Now you get an overgrown snap fine. You get a 5-3. So that's going to be a whole lot of deaths. So if if you can do that, you can get a whole bunch of deaths, which gets you to that 25 pretty easily for Maokai. Yeah, pretty easily is strong, but much easier <laughs> for Maokai um, for the level up. But you could also pair that with, like if, if you're doing that, you're killing a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe you've killed like 20 things right but you have all these five threes and those five threes can't really get through because your opponent's playing all this awesome stuff and everything we have two ruinations boom you go ruination you reset the board you can destroy all your overgrown snap binds um destroy all the stuff that they have because whenever you're going to be going wide with overgrown snap binds they probably have to go wide as well to keep up with you so they're spending a whole lot of resources of putting stuff in play and then ruination reset and now suddenly are they who endure is going to be you know like a 25 25 or whatever because we've had so many things die thanks to overgrown snap mine um so that's another cool little part of our deck and then of course to, to top it all off like we have just lots of early cards with the shadow isles y'all know these cards you know butcher bark beast warden's prey curse keeper um blighted caretaker you know like all that kind of stuff together sentry drawing us some cards glimpse beyond stalking shadows also drawing cards um really good stuff early game um so that's the deck all right so let's go play five games we're just playing in normal today because it's our uh second meme tier day no no pesky specter i know you want you want some pesky specter in here um, no Okay, let's see. We have Warden's Prey, Ravenous Butcher, and Stalking Shadows. Awesome cards. I'm just going to keep them. We can sacrifice our Warden's Prey immediately and attack for three on turn one. Which I kind of want to do. They never stop. So, we're going to do it. Good start. What's that noise? Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go with the blighted caretaker. There you are. Just because I'm just you know attacking for a whole lot. If they don't want to put anything out, they don't want anything to get challenged. That's fine with me. They could go with like a concussive palm or hmm or that. But the good news is I have all, like, we basically spent, we spent the same amount of mana. I have all these cool things in play, and they kind of have nothing. Like I'm ready. Bye -bye. Um, I will tend this garden. All right, we'll have the garden be tended. Protect our grove. They who enter, no. Overgrown snap by no. Alright, 
All right, so Malkai's at 10. And yes, attacking is what we're going to do. I'm not going to sit sit back and have like six things in, in play, right? Like we want to attack and trade and, and uh, have more of our things die and get more room. And so, yeah, they heal their Nexus for four, but that's just good. Just, you know, reset, keep keep getting more room for this Maokai and, of course, have more things die. So we're at 13 out of 25 now. Let's see what else we got. Um, I guess I'll go with the Curse Keeper. Ruination, no! <laughs> Our good cards. Alright, so we're at 20 out of 25. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that morning tea time. I, I don't, I haven't seen anything like that. This Evershade Stalker seems kind of cool. I wanted to get Deadbloom Wanderer because then that would have immediately leveled up Maokai. If they don't have, you know, Culling Strike or whatever to kill Maokai, we are certainly leveling it up this turn. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I will follow this path until the end. Until the end. Follow the wind, but watch your back. So we're at twenty-two. To attack out they don't like I could I so if I yeah let's yeah let's just kill this let's make sure that we have three that we level up Maokai and now we'll get sapling at the beginning of turn and so they only have a few turns to kill us we got four cards left um, Best case scenario is no champions in hand. No champions in hand would mean no Swain, and also mean no, you know, other. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Ooh, that's not a bummer. Blade never gets any lighter. Now it's block. I really hope they don't kill my overgrown snapvine. Because if, if they don't kill the overgrown snapvine, we're looking great. But if they do kill it, we're looking terrible. So... I think that kind of means that I don't really have a choice but to play it. More and more and more. Oh no, that means they kill it. Double Minotaur Reckoner Yasuo. Hmm. Let's play this first. Let's see what they do. I shouldn't have put this ruination out there. Alright, do they have deny? Nope. They're gonna have everything die. Boo! We're getting obliterated. Alright, GG's. They have what they need. They had, you know, a way to kill my overgrown snap mine, and then they also had to deny. Very good. Ooh. This is a tough matchup because they have all the overwhelm, right? Like, we can block pretty well. We got good blockers. But against overwhelm, that's a more difficult task. Glimpse Beyond maybe should go. But obviously, I love the beginning of Bark Beast, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker. The wiser. This'll shake him. 
And I think I have to block, but I guess maybe not. Yeah. It's not until turn four that I'd really have, um, you know, Blight Caretaker Saplings. These old eyes still see far and clear. <laughs> For the homestead! Death doesn't scare me! Noxus lives on! Explosives primed. What does he want from me? Fight or die. Oh, yes. She does our business. They'll never see it coming. Man, I just I just can't take this damage. I know I'm not getting the best blighted caretaker, but I just can't take the damage. And I can't, you know, I don't want to pass. And they pass. So it's not the absolute best Blight of Caretaker, but it'll still do. It's what we get. I have my orders. So right now I we have like an even board. No, 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 no. So uh, we're both at 12. We both have nothing. Um, sure. Do I want to go Glimpse Beyond? No, not really. But of course, I have like twice as many cards in hand as they do. This is what I was going to say before they play that Elixir of Iron. We feast tonight, Bar. No. Alright, this thorny toad as a blocker is going to be important. Both of those are overwhelm. That's a lot of overwhelm. So they should change sap magic to heal your nexus. That'd be a good change. I don't agree with them with playing something, knowing that I have like you know Maokai, knowing you know seeing the thorny tail like that. I think that they should have open attacked. So I. Gain one. <laughs> That's not bad. Alright, we'll gain one. So this is 19? Not fine, but I I want life steal. Protect our grove. Twenty three. So close. Wait, this is toss three. Oh, right, toss three. There we go. So All right, second ruination gone, but all their champions are gone, and now you know, like, put them down to just four cards. So going for this Maokai uh, win con. Ah, they, did, they had a, a champion in hand. Fight for your lives. Pain is nothing. Okay, so at least we know that they can't have any champion spells. 
All right, so they're not going to put cards back. So, like, these are the last four cards that they have. No matter what they are, that's it. Doesn't get any better. So that's something that we do know. Oh, man. I am just tossing all my good cards. Leave no survivors. That was a pretty bad toss for me. Well, Troll Chant worked out pretty well. Three more cards. Ride onward. Maul them. Interesting order. So of course these are all overwhelm, and once once I take any damage, then it frostbites. Like these other things afterwards gets gets uh, frostbitten. So I'm thinking about blocking like this and having atrocity, you know, sacking this four three to atrocity, kill their ancient yeti. Um, which I guess it would still just it would make more sense to do that, and then these block. But of course I want to kill this Sejuani, so it does it does make sense to then put the Sejuani last. So if I do that, we take four total. The Sejuani is still good. But everything else they have is dead and or gone. Huh. Well, that didn't work for me. Great card. Great card. You know, this just doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. Yeah. That's... Well, you know, I... <laughs> you, you do what you can. And that was two good draws in a row. Troll Chant. And then that one. Those are, those are two really good draws in a row. Alright, some scouts. So scouts shouldn't have all that overwhelm. So that should be a lot better for us. This is pretty good, you know, like we'll have like Curse Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher combo. Turn one, Warden Spray. The chains, they never stop. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I guess I need to block with Maokai. Mm -hmm. I need to do. Alright, so this is playing like the Ravenous Butcher I just drew, so they think that I, you know, like I just drew that and, you know, I have that now, so maybe they play something that's easier to apply to Caretaker. Like that. Yeah, I guess it, I should have been more more aggressive in my blocking with Maokai that previous game. I mean, I liked my line, <laughs> you know, like with my line, like we were going to be at what ten life or whatever. Um, but yeah, I guess Nox Noxion Fervor, you know, something that did direct Nexus damage. That just wasn't something that I was. Uh, really planned for, I suppose. <laughs> what are they doing to stop this? Yeah, like what? It, like what? It, what are they doing? 
I guess they wanted me to... Like, I, it feels like they wanted me to play something else, and they wanted to play the uh, two-mana spell. Um, and, you know, make the scout challenger, but they, you know, I don't have to play anything. I can just go to attacks. All right, we got some burn. So I'm obviously going to keep the two lifesteal things against burn, and, you know, we should probably keep Maokai as well. Obviously, I don't like not having anything before turn three, though. And Stalking Shadows doesn't really count, because that doesn't affect the board. Um, I'm super glad not to see a turn one play for them. Very happy about that. My first big mission. More like your worst big mission. Am I right? I have the best job. Let's boogie. And 17, but I can heal that Nexus right back. Okay, what are we doing with you, Maokai? Ooh, interesting, interesting. Nope. Alright, sentry. You can see the Devastian border from here. No. I guess we can't heal the Nexus back for a three. But now we have a three three bark beast. No, I don't I don't, Justin. Light the signal fires. Hey there, nickname. Explosives. They're out there. I'll spot them. This is going to be a lot of damage. Ugh, I don't like this. Money ow, ow. Alert the villains. The Isles will bloom again. I mean, if you're that confident about it, maybe. Let's make it deep. Down to eight? Doesn't seem like much of a deal. Let's see about this cool. It's a cool card in this deck. Please don't kill my dead blue wanderer. Please don't kill my dead blue wanderer. Stop. We're at 12 right now. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little ones. Prime and ready. Ain't they get to the gun show? That's too bad. I'm pretty surprised the three two is not blocking one of them. Like I don't, I don't know what else the three two does. I, yeah, I, I'm very surprised that doesn't block one of them. Won't find better this side of the sun. Ugh, six mana. These both these both cost seven. I 
I guess we'll go with the They Who Endure and try to play a big They Who Endure next time, next turn and kill them with it. Odd sequencing for them. I learned patience. Definitely think about like I could atrocity upstairs and do three damage to them, put them down to four, and then this puts them down to two. Uh, but I don't know if I really kill them with the other atrocity. I think this makes the most sense. I want I want ballistic bot out of there. I think that's my best line. Yeah, I could glimpse a bunch, but like, what am I really doing with glimpse beyonds, right? Like, it's not like I, it's not like I need to draw any specific card right now, and I'm just playing this like, you know, eleven, eleven to attack them for eleven. Gotta get rid of this. No, I'll let my opponent have the silver border. You can, you can have the silver border. It's cool. You can have a little silver. There's no reason to do that. What does he want from we should just do this first. Sure, we got good blocker, and then do this. So that should be it. And there we go. We two and two with Maokai Snapfin. It's pretty fun to say, Maokai Snapfin. Right, yeah, there's not really any counter there to have to Atrocity, but also I shouldn't play it right then. I should play, like, the blocker first. Zoe, I'm a serious artist now. So just wander Maokai again, I suppose? We're really just a deep deck, if you think about it. Really, just a deep deck. Attack! All right, so we'll go Dead Bloom Wanderer here, and just kind of see what's up. Bunch of doggos. They're going with the bunch of doggos strat. Let's kill this thing. Um, you know, like we want the thorny toad dead, but I can kill the thorny toad with these other things. But the thorny toad can still kind of attack. And like, if they would have played something else, it would have been easier to attack with the thorny toad. Wow. They would rather kill that than keep their Zoe alive. Could have shot my sapling and kept Zoe alive, and they were like, nah. I will tend this garden. Many hands, Malkai. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that?
All right, super cool star chart. Um. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little ones. I just don't have room for everything. With getting three saplings here, I don't have room for all three saplings. So Maokai's at 12. Anything else? <laughs> Hello, Yes, if you if you have Amazon Prime, yes, you can. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, then you can have Twitch Prime, just like Gucci has. Um, and uh, um, yeah, you get you get free content in this game in Legends of Runeterra. Here, you get free. Um, yes, yeah, so if you have Amazon Prime, then you know set that up with your Twitch account. You get uh, there's there's something like here or like. At the top of, top of like Legends of Runeterra, you can see like a little thing about it. Like if you're in the main menu, um, but if you you know get Twitch Prime, then you can get free um, epics. Yeah, an epic wild card. Um, but yeah, basically you just need to you need to connect your Amazon Prime with your Twitch account, and then therefore you'll have Twitch Prime whenever you do that. That's what you got to do. Um, and so to do that, yeah. So to do that, the easiest the easiest way to do that is just go to your Amazon Prime like homepage, right? Like just go to like Amazon.com/prime or whatever, and scroll down to the bottom. There should be like a, a Twitch Prime thing down like at the bottom, and uh, you know, click on that. Connect connect the, your two accounts, and then you'll have. Twitch Prime, and then you'll be able to, um, <laughs> and then you'll be able to, uh, uh, subscribe to the channel for free, right? So if you would like to support me, that's, you know, like the same as a $5 subscription to me, and you could do that each month, um, that you get for free if you have Twitch Prime, and so, like, that, that makes a big difference. Um, and then, you know, you get the cool oh, stuff for Legends of Runeterra as well. Where are we at? We're at 20? I kind of figured we'd be farther in here than just 20. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Let the village! So hopefully that hopefully that helped out. Yeah, they used to give champion wild cards, now they just give epic wild cards, but still still, you know, nice to have free epic wild cards. And we know with this game, it's not like that's not anything really to um, complain about too much with this game, right? Because it's still so easy to gain uh, to get like all the cards of this game. So yeah, I only, I only needed four. I knew that this thing was going to die, and so I just played the regular Dead Bloom Wanderer. If we needed five, if I needed one extra, I could have played the Ephemeral Dead Bloom Wanderer and had another thing die. But now they're down to just four cards. And we know they're drawing two cards a turn with Hexcore Foundry. So they kind of have to kill me pretty quickly. They who endures at ten. They grow up so fast. I refuse to wilt. I can attack with that thing. All right, there we go. That'll do. Leveled up Maokai. Gets it done. Life triumphs for once. All right, so there we go. That was Maokai Snapbine. Uh, much faster deck than what we have been playing recently <laughs> with some of these uh, Targon decks and everything. We had a lot faster games in there. Um, but basically what we learned there, we, we didn't really do anything with Overgrown Snapfine. You know, we didn't. And 
that's going to happen. But what, what we did have is we had Maokai all the time, and Maokai was sweet. We were just leveling up Maokai like every game, right? Like we were just um, playing all these cool Shadow Isle stuff, having a bunch of our things die, um, pressuring our opponent by attacking with a lot of stuff, you know, making them block, making a bunch of things trade, and then leveling up our Maokai. And then they're only left with like four cards, and, you know, they weren't able to be able to deal with that, except for, you know, like the Yasuo deck was able to deal with that and, and uh, things like that. But, um, yeah, so that's that that uh, worked out really well. Um, yeah, I was very happy with our deck here. Um, yeah, I think it, think it all worked out pretty good. So there we go. That's Maokai Snapbinds. If you want, like, something that's a little bit different and not just, like, your regular Kalista They Who Endure deck that is going to be winning with just, you know, like, the one way of just damage and They Who Endure, uh, give this one a try because you have, you have like, a nice plan B, right? Like, you have the damage. You have your aggro. You have, like, your Bark Beast, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker start that can, you know, definitely win games. But then you also have your plan B with your Maokai level up, um, obliterate their deck except for just four cards, and uh, that's also another good way to win, and that's a, a harder way to win for uh, some decks to interact with. All right, but that's it here for Maokai Snapvine. Uh, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button, leave those comments, please. Love seeing those comments. Um, yeah, please do that. That helps spread the channel as well. Like whenever there are comments there, it helps the YouTube al algorithm. So hopefully y'all are leaving those. You know, Let me know, what do you want to see for next meme tier Monday? That's a good comment. Um, how'd you like the deck? Um, what have you been playing that you've been liking? You know, anything like that. How's the weather? <laughs> you know, whatever you want. All right, but that's it here for this one. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.